While most countries have a mix of tractor and wheeled vehicles, the South African National Defence Force are virtually all wheeled. The only track vehicles around are, of course, the Oliphant main battle tank. All of the other vehicles, the command post vehicles, the infantry vehicles, the recovery vehicles, are all wheeled. Why is that? Wheeled vehicles have one advantage is over track vehicles. They are probably cheaper, easier to operate and maintain, and they can be deployed over long, long distances. This particular system is the G6. This was developed to meet the requirements of the South African artillery to provide a well-protected vehicle with a 155-45 caliber barrel, which gives them an exceptional range. Also, operating the bush. If you see the front of the vehicle, it's designed to cut its way through the bush. The driver is at the front in a well-protected compartment, the engine compartment is to the rear, and the turret is mounted at the back. When they developed the G6, it was a complete system. It was not only the gun, seen here, but all the ammunition, that is the projectile, the charge system, the fuse system. Also, it carried out the ammunition resupply vehicle, the fire control system, even the target acquisition system, which is UAVs. So the South African artillery is one of the first countries to develop more of a systems approach to their artillery requirements. The G6 was used operationally in Southwest Africa, and it has been sold to at least two customers. Oman has taken delivery of a batch of vehicles and the United Arab Emirates have. This particular vehicle has got a 155-45 caliber barrel, but they've done a new version called the T6, which is a turret with a 52 cal. That has got a new ammunition handling system, which gives increased rate of fire. The ordnance on the, on the G6 is identical to the tow G5. That was the first one to come into service, and that gun has been sold to a number of countries, with the most recent being Malaysia.